to another vlog it is Saturday morning um, I'm not in a very good mood yesterday I had such a lovely afternoon I went and had my hair done I had a facial got home sat at the laptop ready to do some work and spilt a full glass of water over my laptop so it is currently like I'm hoping everything is backed up on my external hard drive like automatically so I unplugged that really really quickly Turn it upside down, put it on kitchen roll, and I've just like left it like drying out near the um, radiator. But I'm trying to think of the positives. So my three things I was grateful for last night were that I did have everything hopefully backed up on my external hard drive. The water went over just my laptop and not my phone as well. And that I am healthy. So they my three things I was grateful for because today, I've got a couple of clients in at the gym this morning. I'm welcoming back a new client, Lauren, and then I've got a chef in. And then I'm gonna go and do one of my 30 before 30. So me and my dad are going to Oldham to go and watch Sheffield United away, and I can't wait. I'm really excited for that. So my very first away match in Oldham. So if you don't follow football or whatever, I'm a Sheffield United season ticket holder. Go to every home game, never been to an away game, and it was one thing I wanted to do this year and I randomly booked the tickets uh, last week for me and my dad to go. So I'm going to have to go and write up with a pen and paper my sessions for this morning and yeah, have a coffee, smile, it could be a lot, lot worse and yeah, get on with the day. We've got to Oldham and we're now just sat in the pub just having a drink before the match. It is absolutely beautiful outside. <laughs> I think like the temperature said it was like 17 degrees which I hope isn't a bad omen because every time we go to like Wembley or Cardiff it's gorgeous like this and we always lose so fingers crossed. football about half an hour ago it was really good really enjoyed it so we drew in the end so it wasn't a complete failure you must be fed up of seeing me in this jumper i'm fed up of wearing it um it's like my comfy one but so i've just got some dinner because all i've had today is that protein bar that you saw me eat, and then a fiber one bar then i had eggs before i came out but in here we've just got some corgetti some tomato sun-dried tomatoes chicken and lettuce oh and some pesto it is Sunday and as I still don't have a laptop it means that I'm having to find other ways of amusing myself today because I can't do any work. So yesterday I achieved one of my 30 before 30 by going to an away match so today we're going to go for another one and I'm going to plant up some vegetables, seeds and hope that they grow so mummy's going to help me. planted everything that we can plant today just because we need some grow bags for the salad leaves and the cauliflower so we have got we've got some broccoli pepper plum tomatoes and some chili in that one and then we've got some sprouts and courgette and then in this one i've got some carrots so fingers crossed that i might have some plants and some fresh vegetables in the summer Morning, so it is Tuesday. It's early, it's like 6 a.m. So I'm just waiting for my first couple of clients this morning and then I'm going to train myself, which I'll explain a little bit more later on. I'm um, just doing something a bit different this week, that's all. And then I've got to go to Leeds to sort my laptop out. So hopefully by the end of today, 
I will either have a fixed laptop or a new one. I'm guessing it's going to be a new one as I tried turning it on yesterday and it was just a black screen. So, yeah, it's a bad few days, but it's only a laptop. It's fine. It can get sorted. It's only money. My next client case is a little bit late, so I just thought I'd use this time just to explain to you about my sessions this week and what I'm doing. So this week for me is a deload week. That essentially means that it is a break from full 100%, 100 mile an hour training. So everybody should incorporate these deload weeks, like lower weeks into their training. Like some people do it every four weeks, some people like to do it every five, six, seven. Um, for me, this is I think week six. And I could tell I was ready for a deload last week as I just felt tired, my muscles were aching, like I was just ready for a bit of like a refresh, like just to need to scale it back a little bit. So it's almost like you're climbing up a mountain and then you're almost like coming back down to then go up a little bit higher again. Because if you were to do this all the time, you'd end up like peaking and just going down like that from like overtraining or whatever. There's a couple of ways to structure a deload. One, some people just take completely off, they just don't go into the gym at all. A lot of people do this like when they're maybe going on holiday. So they just will take a complete break from the gym, not do anything, and then come back stronger the following week. How I like to do it is I still like to come into the gym. I still almost like like to do my sessions, but I tend to do mine at like a 60% from the previous week. So say for example, I'm doing, I don't know, leg press at 100, kilo, 100 kilograms for sets of 10. This week, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it at 60 kilograms for sets of 10. So I'm just dropping the weight right back down, just allowing my body to just like recuperate, recover a little bit, just to, so it comes back a little bit stronger next time. Um, some people like to do, if they do like five sets of an exercise, they might just do three. So the intensity is still quite high, but they drop the volume right down. Don't think that one week off or like one week of a deload is just gonna ruin all your plans. I know that I need one because I know I just need to recover a little bit, just let my muscles recover so I can come back stronger next week. Because I know if I just carry on as I am at the moment, I'm just gonna burn out. Like you can't go at 100 miles an hour for like weeks and weeks on end. Like you do need to like take a bit of a bit of a time out, step back. It's a little bit the same with dieting. Like I've mentioned it to a couple of my clients. Like you do not want to be dieting forever. Like for months and months and months on end. Like it just gets it's tiring and it's boring. So sometimes it's just good to just take a week off, just to allow yourself to like reset and just like get it out of your system and then go again. In terms of progress the past three weeks, I've dropped, I think it's about, is it about half a kilo a week? So yeah, I'm on about a pound a week, just under, um, which I know I said I was disappointed about last time, but actually on reflection, it's probably about where I need to be. It is the 1st of April, April Fool's Day. Um, it is Saturday morning and I'm in the car, as you can guess, because I'm heading to Manchester as I'm going to see Craig David tonight Woo! at the MEN with Laura. As always, on one of these long journeys, I've got an audio book to listen to. Today's one is called... This... I don't want to swear, but yeah, that is what I'm going to listen to. Um... Somebody's recommended it, so that should uh, keep me going for the journey there. I'm back, and yeah, I'll, I've had breakfast. I've just had my usual eggs, because um, I don't really know when else I'm gonna eat today. I had clients in this morning, and yeah, all is well in the world because my laptop is back, it is fixed. And if I could give anybody one bit of advice ever, it is have an external hard drive, which automatically backs up your entire laptop, as mine was completely wiped. Just had to plug it in and it just restored it back to 11 o'clock last Friday. So everything is saved. I am like the luckiest person ever. So good things do happen and I appreciate it and I'm so, so grateful. I don't know what it is about car journeys or long car journeys, but it's so annoying because I always get so much inspiration and so many like ideas for like business and what I can do. And I don't know whether it's because I'm listening to like audio books or podcast that it just starts like sparking stuff but I can't write anything down or do anything with them so I'm like trying to hold on to them and hoping that I'll still be able to remember them when I reach my destination and I'll be able to like write them all down um but yeah this book I'm enjoying it yeah I am I, but I feel like I'm like zoning in and out a little bit but it's all about the idea of 
if you want to be happy you'll never achieve happiness if you're always trying to be happier because the actual art of trying to make yourself happy is a negative feedback loop the same as like if you're wanting to be I don't know prettier skinnier basically more successful and more money like that means that you think at the moment you're none of those things so it's the idea of I think the idea the book's getting at if you don't worry about those things then it'll just happen I think I'm only about 20 minutes into it but um, yeah that's where we're at. because on Instagram I've seen a chocolate doing the rounds and I know our one in Scarborough doesn't have it so went to Sainsbury's and they had all five flavors of this Daisy Doisy and Down chocolate so we've got lemon poppy seed and baobab date Himalayan pink salt maca vanilla and cacao nib coconut and luke Kuma and maple toasted rice and pink sea salt. I've got a coffee, I've got a protein bar, so I'm just gonna try a little bit of one of these. I think the lemon, poppy seed and baobab sounds pretty strange, so let's have a try. Oh, it's white chocolate, this one. Oh, I thought this was, oh, okay, so this is what it looks like. That is so tasty. Yum. And it is gluten free as well. Yum. I would recommend this. This is dangerous having five bars in my uh, car. Now I'm going to have to put them in the boot. Yeah, so heading to Laura's now. Morrison's I had, I had zero food left in the fridge so I just thought I'd do a quick grocery haul for you because I know some people like seeing what I've got so I've just got two bags full I'm not going to go over everything I'm literally just going to point out and show you what I've got so we've got some bean sprouts sugar snap peas cucumber some carrots mushrooms um, we've got some of these sandwich thins, the half and half ones. Cottage cheese, which I've not had in ages. Don't know why, but just fancied some for a change. Peppers, mixed peppers, but the green one don't like, so that'll go away. Plum tomatoes, because they taste better than cherry ones. And some eggs, make up that basket. Uh, another bag we have got. <clears throat> baby spinach mixed bag of lettuce and then a shredded lettuce we have got some Moroccan hummus this is my um, favourite one from Morrison's some salsa um, we have got oh this is new an apple and elderflower muller light so that's a new one to try Speaking of apple and elderflower, apple and elderflower sparkling water and then some Ribena light because it's on offer. Some fromage fray, my favourite. Um, some of the light vanilla ice cream. We've got a red onion. Some Cadbury's mini eggs. And some dairy milk Oreo mini eggs as well. These are really good. If you've not tried these, these are really nice. Um, courgettes, staple, and then also last some Moroccan style cauliflower couscous as well. So that is my little uh, grocery haul from Morrison's. Probably going to sign off on the video here. I'm not too sure what's in it. If I'm honest with you, I just need to get all the footage up onto the laptop. I'm hoping it's Monday morning today, so it's going to be a refresh. <clears throat> 
I'm going to sort out all my filming, I'm going to get back on track with it. So apologies if this video is a little bit random and all over the place, but I will get back on track from this week. I will give you, I will film a day in the life and an update on my cut and how we're getting on. Um, I will also need to film my March favourites, which you may have seen there are a couple in this assortment that will make it into there. So I'll do more explaining on them. Um, and yes, I hope you are all well. I hope you've all enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Um, subscribe, that would be amazing. I am now at about 110 subscribers, I think, which I'm pretty chuffed with. But as always, I just want to keep growing, keep spreading my message to more and more people. So if you think there's somebody who'd like my videos, share it, get them to subscribe as well. I would be so appreciative. Appreciative? Is that even a word? I don't know. But yeah, until next time, I will, uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>